Hi everyone, I don't have any uh, flashy graphics, but um, use a microphone. Oh, uh, I don't have any um, flashy graphics uh, for you today. Unfortunately, my uh, brilliant Ubuntu box is uh, unable to connect to the, the uh, audio visual system. Can you, sorry, can everyone hear that? I think it was powered off and on. It might have powered off because it got put down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, my project is an autonomous marine vehicle and uh, the project started in 2008. Uh, the ultimate goal of this project is to develop a flexible, robust marine platform for exper experimental purposes capable of, capable of circumnavigating New Zealand. That's a bit of a mouthful. Um, the platform must eventually be able to operate autonomously at sea for long periods operating only on renewable power, i.e. solar and wind. And obviously it is to be able to do things like avoid other obstacles and ships and so on. Um, development has, a, has uh, followed using a, a popular software development methodology called Agile, uh, which means that I've gone through uh, various iterations of the project. Okay, phase one was a simple proof of concept using a small uh, what effectively was a remote control toy boat. It quickly became apparent that it was far too small to be able to support solar panels of any decent size. Um, it was also unable to run any kind of uh, microcontroller that I would really want to be able to use, um, such as running Linux and running Python. Um, so I quickly moved on to phase two, which was a uh, total redesign. Um, so I basically built my own hull. Um, put some really reasonably large solar panels on it so it would be able to run a, um, a PC. Um, I, I happen to use an Open Moco, which is an uh, open source phone that ran Linux. Um, and it had a Debian, pack, a Debian like system on it so I could install Python on it. Um, this new boat had uh, various new sensors on it. It had uh, GPS, GPRS for communication. It had servo controllers uh, for a bit lower and a motor controller for the propulsion. Um, obviously it also had batteries, um, the solar cell I to mention, and uh, special power supplies. Um, and the, the entire core of that was um, the NEO 1973, which is the first open moco version that came out. Okay, so the, the applications that I wrote, um, I wrote three applications, um, all in Python. Um, the first one was the command application. So this was the, the application I was using to um, manoeuvre the well, send, send instructions to the boat and receive telemetry from the boat. Okay, so this was um, this provided a user console, so I'd be able to um, set up paths or, or tracks and be able to transmit that to the boat, and the boat would theoretically <laughs> uh, follow follow the path. Uh, it turns out that it didn't do that for various reasons. Um, and that's why we're on to phase three at the moment. Okay, the second, second application I wrote was the control application. The control application um, ran on the boat uh, under an ARM Linux distribution. Um, it had connections to the GPS, GPRS, um, and basically several other USB devices which were used for um, telemetry such as temperature and um, finding out what the current was between the solar cells and uh, the battery, so you could figure out <coughs> how much power was being used and how much was being collected. Okay, so why did I choose Python? Um, this is my sphere of time project. I'm not a, um, I don't write Python commercially. I'm a bit of a Java programmer. No, no booze. <laughs> Um, the time I have to spend on this project is, is pretty valuable, so I don't want to waste it. And um, I felt that, that low-level languages such as C uh, were maybe efficient on, on low-power devices, but they, they also take a lot longer to develop, and they're also more prone to defects, would be, which would be pretty fatal on a, on a remote boat that, that isn't possible to get to. Um, so I use Python because it's pretty reliable, um, it's pretty simple, you can write things quickly, uh, you can test them on uh, large PCs rather than on, on the target platforms. Um, you can write simulations for them. 
Uh, it's similar to Java in many respects, that it has a, has a runtime, um, but it doesn't have the footprint that Java has, uh, and generally is a lot less wordy than Java. Uh, so, it, to be honest, if, if I had a choice of development platform, even for my commercial stuff, I'd probably go with it. But, um, Python now. Unfortunately, I don't have that privilege. But um, for, my, for my boat project, it's been a fantastic boon to be able to have something like that to, um, to develop on. And that's my project. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet. <laughs>